guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and this is Kelcav Beauty. Here I talk about all things beauty, makeup, lifestyle, and even some career advice thrown in every once in a while. I upload new videos every Sunday at 12 Eastern Standard Time and you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Kelcav Beauty. You may have noticed already I'm wearing a red lip. And if you all knew me back in the day, which really was just about a year ago, this is something you would have never seen me wear, is a red lip. Here's what brought this about though. Back in September, I got my BoxyCharm. And in that BoxyCharm was a red lipstick. It came in this box, really pretty packaging. Came in this red box, and it's from Hank and Henry. Hank and Henry. When I opened up the box, here's what I got. This beautiful, gorgeous, stunning lipstick case. Beautiful case. It's got a red glitter. Of course, the first thing I had to try to figure out was, how do I open this? I couldn't find an, end, an opening. Finally figured out though, at the top here, you press that little button down and the lipstick pops out. And you take off that lid. Pretty cute. Here's the lipstick though. You all, it is gorgeous. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but the lipstick also has that glitter around the outside of it. It's beautiful. But I'll admit, when I got this in my boxy charm, I thought, I'm never gonna wear that. I don't wear a red lip. But then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I, you know, I'm starting this whole makeup journey. I'm trying new things with it. I'm gonna figure out how I can wear this red lipstick. I started to practice and try out new, some new things and actually I got pretty lucky. The first look that I tried, I ended up loving and this is it. This is the look that I was able to put together with my red lipstick. Let me go ahead and show you all what I'm wearing. I will have everything posted below as far as my foundation, concealer, and everything. I mainly want to talk about the colors I'm wearing today. Now, one thing I did notice, I did a little bit of research before I put this look together. I did a little bit of research. I went to Pinterest, my old friend Pinterest, and just looked up some pictures, how to wear a red lip. And I noticed that in most of the pictures I looked at, Obviously, the lip is what stills to show. Not the eye makeup, not what you've done with the rest of your face. So what I did was I really tried to downplay all of my other makeup so that the lipstick is what really stands out. First off, I am wearing a bronzer and I'm wearing this one from Physicians Formula. This is their butter bronzer and I've got this in the shade bronzer. Makes sense, huh? In the shade bronzer. Let me show you all this bronzer. This is a gorgeous bronzer. Number one, it smells good. It's got a tropical coconut suntan lotion type smell to it. Then, I understand why it's called butter bronzer. When you run your finger over it, it really does feel like butter. Seriously, it is gorgeous. So that's the bronzer I'm wearing. Then the blush that I'm wearing is from Milani. This is their Baked Blush line, and this shade, let me show this to you, this is called Dolce Pink. Dolce Pink. A lot of people consider this color a dupe for the NARS Orgasm Blush. I've got both shades, and I agree they are very similar. I like both of them. So that's the blush that I'm wearing. Then the highlighter that I'm wearing is from Essence. This is from Essence. And it is the Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Popping Champagne. I love that name. I think that's so, that's just a great name. Show you what that looks like. Popping Champagne. And let me do a swatch of that. This is a gorgeous color. There it is right there on my finger. So I've got that on the high points of my cheeks. I've got that down my nose, in my Cupid's bow here. And I just think this is a gorgeous color. Let's talk about the eyes, which by the way, you may have noticed I still have the sty. I still have the sty. Well, here's the thing, you all. I actually ended up filming this video the same day I filmed my last video. So don't worry. A week hasn't gone by and I still have this thing. It's still the same day, for me at least. 
Hopefully the next video you all see me in, this will be gone, or it better be. Anyway, my eye look. So the eyeshadow palette that I use for this, this is probably one of my newest palettes that I've purchased. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This is definitely a high-end palette. This one is pricey. Here's the color shade in this, the color, I'm sorry, here's the color story. Now, this is a little different than most palettes that I get. I normally tend to go for warmer shades. This is definitely a cooler toned palette. Let me tell you what drew me to this palette though. Why did I get this? It does cost a little more than most of my palettes and the shade match isn't really what I go for. Why I really liked it was this palette, the colors don't have names. They actually instead indicate for you where you apply it. So for example, let me show you one. Uh, this color right here, this lighter color, if I look at it, it says transition. So I know that I would use this shade as a transition shade. So instead of coming to a palette like this and trying to figure out what am I going to use for a transition? What would be a good corner color? What would be a good inner lint shimmer? You don't have to think about it. It's all in there. It's all in the name. I thought this would be a great palette for those of us that have to get ready quickly in the morning. We don't have a lot of time to think about where we're going to be putting our makeup at. This has got it all for you. you, you it's like you've got written directions with this. Really like that a lot. Like I said, this was a little bit pricier. The more that I play with this palette though, the more I like it. The thing that I think, let me show it to you one more time. The thing that I think just stands out in this palette are the shimmers, the shimmers. So for example, this inner shimmer that I've got on right here, I just love this shimmer. Let me see, it's this one right here. This one right here is what I've got on that inner shimmer. It's gorgeous, you all. I just love that. Uh, the more that I use this palette, the more I like it. I'll admit, I think it's because of the price I paid for it. When I first used it, I was a little disappointed. I thought, I spent, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and tell you, I know this, spent, this cost over $60, maybe even closer to 70. I can't remember, honestly. It's expensive, it's pricey. Let me show you all what I am wearing. My transition shade, you probably figured it out already. Transition, I'm wearing this shade right here. I'm wearing that in my transition. In my corner, I'm wearing this shade right here. Right here, this brownish color. Uh, that is called smoke. So I've got that in on my outer third in the corner. I also used that shade to block in a little bit and then I blended that. My outer shimmer, the one I'm kind of wearing in the middle here, is this one right here. That color is outer eyelid. I have to show you all that one. Let me swatch that for you because I love this shade. I think it is just gorgeous. There it is right there right there. That is just gorgeous. I love that. It's kind of a, oh, I don't know how well these go together, but it's kind of almost like a charcoal and a gold at the same time. It's beautiful. On my inner lid, I'm wearing this one right here. This one right here. And it is called inner corner. Let me swatch that one for you also. I got a lot on my hand right now. Hopefully this will show up. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right there. Inner shimmer. It's almost got a little bit of a pink to it, or maybe like a champagne pink. That seems to be our theme today, champagne. <laughs> uh, but that, it is, it's just a gorgeous color, and I've got that on my inner shimmer here. Then, something else I did, you all haven't really seen me do this yet. My liner, I used one of my eyeshadows as my liner. I've got this one right here. And this is actually called Lash Line. That one's actually called Lash Line. What I use for that is this brush right here. This is from Real Techniques, and this is called the Fine Liner Brush. What I'll do with this, the way I apply this is, I'll moisten this, I'll either run it under the sink, or I'll have a little cup of water, or I'll dip this in, moisten that brush, dry it off, pat it dry a little bit, and then go into the color with that. That just applies a beautiful liner, and let me tell you that Natasha Denona palette, the Glam palette, works great as a liner. So that's what my liner is that I'm wearing. My mascara, 
I'm just wearing the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara then obviously the lips we got to get to the lips the scene stealer here my liner that i'm wearing with this no i know i'm not wearing the mac liner you all i'm wearing this one right here this is from wet and wild and the shade of this is called red the scene oh, i love these names who comes up with these names you all i love it red the scene let me do a swatch of that for you let me use my other hand. My other my other hand is covered up. Let's use my other hand here. Let me show you a swatch of this. Okay, there's that color. Really pretty. Now, I bought this without having that lipstick with me. So I was kind of guessing, is that going to work? You all are not going to believe how well it matches. Let me just go ahead. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But let me go ahead and swatch the lipstick next to that liner. I'll do it in a thicker one so you'll know the difference. Oh my goodness, it's such a perfect match, you all. There's the lipstick. Perfect match. And that's what I'm wearing right now. I applied the liner first. And here's the thing. When you wear a red lip, you need to be precise. You got to take your time with this. Because with red, if you're not, if it doesn't look precise, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stand out. You've got to be careful with the red lipstick. So I did my liner first. Took my time applying that. And then I put my lipstick on. And you all, I love this look. Th again, this is not something you would have seen me wear a year ago, five years ago. I would not be able to wear a red lip. And here's the thing about wearing a red lip. If you're going to wear one, you wear it confidently. You are confident in how you look with it. I think this would be a great look as we're starting to get into the holiday season. You know, I know we're probably not going to have a lot of holiday parties and things like that, but eventually we will. And I think this would be a great look to bring us into the holiday season. When you wear a color like this, you know, this goes great with your gray colors, with black dresses. You know, I'm obviously wearing this with a more gray, black colored silver. I think silver jewelry looks beautiful with this look. Let me go ahead. Let me show you the finished look here. I just love it. I, I can't believe this is something I like now, but I really do. When I discovered this look, I thought, I'm, this is going to be my holiday look, I think. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a big thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.